We need oh, a. Oh my I, God. Wasn't pay, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> you fucking idiot. Oh, oh, I got. You guys okay. have to come back. Okay, guys. Damn, bro. There's, there's a, there's a, there's a big me. baddie outside, so be careful. He got caught by the big baddie. Really? Hey. <laughs> oh my God! Oh! <laughs> So, I'm gonna make a guide on the update for a lot of new changes, including the slime hammer, which looks like a popsicle, the rot, you get it from a boss I'm gonna show later on, the noxious mortar from the same boss I'm gonna show later on, and coffin lock and coffin hilt, you get them um, also in the, in the catacombs, they have unique properties to them, and I'm gonna show what they all do later on. There are also Twig Claws and Cleric's Tome. Those are the items I'll show you. Here are. Actually, I'm gonna show you the um, armors too. So, we have the only armor set we have for this update is the Cleric Robes and the Hat. This gives you and your teammates um, defense depending on the damage that you do. This one splits your healing across all teammates. So, if I were to put this on and go over here. Heal, heal. Okay, if I were doing a fight, but like, it doesn't matter. And yeah. First, if you start the catacombs by talking to Limo, he gives you a to toolbox quest, and you have to go this and you have to go find it for him. You the toolbox is just right over here. But yeah, first one's like spawn unless you get close. But the toolbox is just right up here. A guy spawns at a campfire, and you could just ask for a toolbox because the toolbox spawns like right here next to him. You you talk to him, and then you just ask for the toolbox, and then you go back to Limo. There's also another place right over here, and you can take a quest here. Uh yeah, right here. You talk to him, and then you can get a quest for 10 seeds. The reward is the tree piece, which gives you different buffs depending on like the rotation, like cleric, like like, like um no not cleric, like clever tone. Uh, it has crit chance, and it lasts really long, so it's better clever tone. And we just go back to Forgotten Village to talk to Milimo. Then, showing him that you have given him the toolbox puts you in a cutscene over at the start of the catacombs. Okay, this is the entrance to the catacombs where Limo sets the ladder. Limo also, hold on, no wrong TP. Limo, after you give him the toolbox, starts to sell things now, right over here. He sells a slime hammer for 5k and all slimes and 10 sludge. The smart armor fit, armor set, which is just drip, clouded eyeglasses, and the rapier. I do not, I do not suggest getting the rapier. It's not that good compared to the catacombs weapons. So after doing all the parkour and getting over here, on the way, um, the first thing you want to do is go left. Why you go left? Because that over there is a. Well, his allies. And there's a level right here that you can open to get this checkpoint. So now this is just free passage between the mirror and this path, which will lead you to the second lever. There are three levers in total. Q 
you skip past these guys again. And now you're in the Blight Town. You cannot use the glider here or these guys will shoot you out of the sky. But if you just run past all- Fuck! I'm invisible just because. And actually the invisibility potion doesn't work here. So you can't just cheese this. You just go down here. And you just- This path is very straightforward. There's also a little, um... Skip that you can do, but it's high risk, high reward. None of these places actually have like specific loot, so I can just skip past all of it without missing out on anything. Apart from maybe like a loss. But this is where you can do the skip to get to the tree lad really quickly. This is high risk, high reward, because the trick pieces can lock onto you and shoot blow darts in transit. So what you do is you just um, I'm gonna actually use clever tom here for speed. But you just you just do this. You don't have to use the slime hammer. I just use it for pers personal preference. You can fall down here, but then you can just equip climbing claws or slime hammer to climb up. You can equip climbing claws by just clicking on it, but you can't uh, take it away. So you just click on another thing. So I'll just go re-equip my titan brace. And this is the boss room. There is a room over there. You're not gonna have it open unless you've already done this, but there's a lever behind it and you must kill this boss to get through. This boss is the trying giant tree lad. He drops a really good weapon. I'm gonna show it after I kill him. And we got the heavy grave tree, that's lucky, but it's a 15% drop and it gives you the grave tree item. This tree has two heavies. Why is it purple? No, the first heavy is the poison cloud, that's AOV. And the heavy turns into a rock throw, along with poison throw. Your, all your attacks now throw poison. And before that, it's just the same thing. It's very good against Earth is good against Venom, and so is Light, so this is to be your best friend until you get a Light Gem weapon. So you pull this lever, and it shows you a cutscene of another part of the map being opened. Action. It's very scary. I could just run past the cleric here, you don't really have to fight him. If you want to fight him, use Charm Gem, it's very good against him. It's super effective. And now we're here. There are tombs here and you must open them all. And from what I've heard, um, every time someone gets a lever piece, the tombs, a random tomb, tomb will be selected with a lever piece. So you can't just farm the same tomb to get the lever piece. You have to go and open all of them individually. Now I'm just gonna go see if I can... I'm just gonna get to the area I need to do for the uh, lever. But I have to this area. I was also a new enemy here, called Emma Fuck it. Yeah, those guys exploded better when they die. Fuck's sake, dude. I hate these guys. I was hoping to not run into them. Okay, so the creeps have a chance to drop the coffin lock and the coffin hilt. And so, do, and so do the tombs. It's more common in the tombs. Just gonna see. At least it's where my brightness up actually. Hold on. Not too bright. And this is where you want to be. 
This is the place with a lever. You, after finding the lever piece from the tombs, you interact with this and you open the final area of the catacombs. And there's also a seed here. Let me just find it. Yeah, there's a seed right here. I'll, I'll, I won't make a seed guide, but I'll just mention other ones that I run by and I remember. So after doing that, you go here and you go left again. Because that doorway opens in the left to the final area. It's a really good boss fight and I would suggest playing the update just because of it. It's like an actually awesome dude. It's probably my favorite boss. Left on the right, actually, right here. There's a seat and TV here, and there's a seat on top of Grave Tree Lads area. But I missed. There's also, no, there's no seat there, I'm tripping. So, this is the boss arena, and there's a boss here called Kata. You trigger it by just walking up over here. Now, I'm not gonna spoil on, on you on this fight because it's actually awesome. So, I'm just gonna reset. I would suggest fighting Kayla yourself and not looking uh, no not solo but like fight it like like people who are not gonna spoil the fight. Oh yeah and if you try to skip through Kata uh, all those steps it will insta kill you if you don't pull the lever at um jail at the jailer's area. So that's basically the update, that's the guide. I asked, I think I missed. I don't think I missed a thing, actually. I didn't showcase. Oh, uh, Cleaver. This drops from Bluto's with a 3% chance. I'll just show you all their indexes here. Bluto. Uh, what else? Rive. Twig Rive, no drops. Twig Face, Twig Claws. The creep, these two weapons, but they can be found in tombs as well. I'm not gonna show Kata, I'm gonna show Tree Lad. Gives you the Grave Tree. Cleric, here it is. What else? I think that's really it. I don't wanna show Kat Kata because it's like meant to be a surprise. I mean, I already showed the items at the start, so I guess I'll show them. Kata's odds are very, very easy. You need to kill him like twice. I got both his items on the first kill, personally. And I think that's it, really. Yeah, okay. So yeah, that's, that's the um, update. Uh, yeah, that's... Yeah, that's the uh, Pilgrim update. Sweet Berry Catacombs. It's... I personally think it's the best update ever, and I love the area. It's honestly my favorite. So that's, that's it. Bye.